Hello, everyone. My name is Dai Bo from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. And uh, this work is about generating diverse and natural captions for image captioning. And for those that is not familiar with image captioning, this page shows how state-of-the-art model works. It will extract some features and then generate captions word by word. And state-of-the-art models are very, uh, already capable of producing very good captions. However, there are problems. To show that, imagine a robot that can describe what it sees using state-of-the-art state of the art captioning models. Now here is an example of it describes a snowboard game. The first player, he is flying through the air while riding a snowboard. And the second player, he is flying through the air while riding a snowboard. Oh, the third player, he is flying through the air while riding a snowboard. As you can see, it tends to produce identical captions for similar images, which is dry and boring. Sometimes this may also lead to ambiguity. And uh, um, these problems are not surprising because the generation and evaluation for current uh, image captioning models are based on engram space, which is only a small subset of the semantic space. Specifically, when we train captioning models, usually we use maximum likelihood estimation, which computes the sum of log, log likelihoods of each word, condition the input image and the, its previous words. And such objective will encourage the model to follow the detailed wordings of training captions. As a result, for this sample image with ground truth, a cat is sitting in, uh, in a sink. The model trained using MLE will give much higher probability to the first caption than the second one, although the second one has only difference in the leading words. And consequently, when similar images are presented, the same caption is very likely to be produced again and again, following the same wording. So then how to solve this? To solve that, people notice that the evaluation metrics, uh, such as blue and cider, on the other hand, think these two captions are both good because they are matching engrams with the ground choices regardless of the positions of those engrams in the original sentences. So inspired by this, recent works proposed to directly opt optimize on the evaluation metrics um, by, by reinforcement learning. Specifically, the caption generation is regarded as a sequential action selection process um, guided by the evaluation metrics as the rewards. And when training, the caption generator will sample captions and aim at maximizing the ex, uh, ex, fish expected rewards. And uh, by using the, the metrics as global guidance, they avoid mi mimicking the detailed wordings of training captions. However, this is still not enough because they are matching engrams with the ground truth. They will prefer captions that contain more frequent training engrams rather than the captions that are semantically similar but syntactically different. Then how to uh, solve this? To solve that, we reviewed the goals of um, caption generation and evaluation. And notice, generation is to generate captions that are as human-like as possible. And the evaluation is to pick out those bad machine-generated captions. In fact, they are in an adversarial relationship. And more importantly, this relationship is in the semantic space. It's exactly what we need. So we propose to use a conditional GAN to jointly deal with caption generation and evaluation. Specifically, our approach also uses reinforcement learning to, uh, to avoid uh, technical issues such as non-differentiable sampling operations. But instead of using the uh, evaluation metrics as rewards, we use a parametric evaluator that takes an image and a caption as inputs and outputs a score ranging in zero and one as an estimation for the caption quality. And by using this evaluator as the guidance, there are, our caption generator is similar to the original structure, but with this additional input that is a noise vector Z. This, uh, by using this noise vector Z, uh, our caption generator can potentially generate more diverse uh, captions because we can sample different Z to influence the caption generation process. And by jointly training the caption generator and the evaluator, uh, we can generate diverse captions and uh, estimate their qualities. To show that, let's look at some results on the MS Coco data set. And here are some uh, details of our exper experiments. In all of our experiments, we used encode and decoder structure as our model. And uh, we use Vision 16 as the encoder 
and uh, the LSTM net as the decoder. And be before adversarial training, we will respectively pre-train the generator and the evaluator. As for the results, for similar images, the model trained using GAN can produce more distinctive captions. And uh, one can easily pick out the original images by just looking at the uh, captions. As for single image, uh, we can sample different Z to get different captions cover, covering different details of the uh, original image. And those captions are semantically similar but has large, large variance in terms of syntax. And as mentioned before, the evaluation metrics such as blue and cider are not designed for doing evaluation in terms of semantic qualities. So we use user studies to compare different methods. And users are asked to select a better one from pairs of captions. And compared to tra model trained using MLE, the same model trained using GAN can win 61% of the time, indicated it produced better captions. However, when compared to human, both GAN and MLE are far from competitive. Uh, it indicates there are still cl ga clear gaps between machine-generated captions and natural ones. And interestingly, if we compute the evaluation scores using uh, the evaluation, mat uh, evaluation metrics, we will um, found that the metrics such as blue and cider prefers MLE over human by a large margin, uh, while our learn evaluator um, prefers human over both MLE and, G uh, and again. Specifically, there is an image with, with two captions where the second one is relatively more informative. However, the classical metrics will give much higher scores to the first one as it contains more frequent training and grants, except for our evaluator, which gives relatively better scores. And of course, um, the model training using GAN is not perfect. There, sometimes there'll be errors uh, in the gen generated captions, and the main type of error is wrong in details. And here are some examples. And our guess is that in order to get a high score in terms of semantic uh, qualities, the caption generator is encouraged to include more details, or, uh, taking the risk some of them may be incorrect. And to be conclude, uh, we joined to deal with caption generation and evaluation using a conditional GAN. And by that, we can train the captioning models in a semantic space. And we can also provide a parametric estimation for caption qualities in terms of semantic relatedness. And by focusing on the semantics rather than syntax, we can generate diverse and natural captions. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, any questions? All right. Uh, I have a question. Um, so um, you mentioned um, using reinforcement learning in order to avoid some of the differentiability issues um, uh, with your uh, GAN model. So can you give us some insight why reinforcement learning would help you or is reinforcement learning, the, the reinforcement learning method you use also not using sampling for, to compute expectations? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, in our in implementation, we try to uh, sample captions to uh, estimate the uh, expectations. So this operation is not differentiable. So we have to re uh, resolve this issue by the help of uh, techniques such as reinforcement learning. I see. But in reinforcement learn in the reinforcement learning method you use, you don't use something like reinforce or what type of method you use, for example, for uh, Monte Carlo Rojas. Okay. 